Hi guys, today I'll be showing you one of the best iTunes alternative apps to manage various files on your iOS devices called Dear Mob iPhone Manager. Here, this is the look of the app. What this app does is that it allows you to import or export photos, videos, music, books, contacts, voice, podcasts, and more between your iOS devices and your Windows or Mac computers. Unlike iTunes, this app allows you to transfer files back and forth between your iOS devices and your computers without any restrictions and also in a much faster speed. Currently, this app supports iOS 7 all the way to iOS 15.4.1. So now let me demonstrate how efficient this app works. So the first thing you need to do is connect your device through the cable, like mine here, it's iPhone 12 Pro Max. You can see the first main feature here is photo. If you click on it, so you can see these are the photos on my camera roll. It has been arranged into various dates. So you can delete the photo or export it or export with encryption. Let's say you want to export a photo, you click here. And they have two options, just export or export HEIC to JPG. So as you know that iPhone's image is not JPG but HEIC. So if you want it to be recognized by all devices, whether Android or iPhone or Windows computer or Mac computer, you can just select the second one. But if you only use on a Mac computer, you can just click on export only. So if you want it to be recognized by all devices, Android, iOS, Windows or Mac, you just click here and select export HD, HEIC to JPG. But if you don't, you just click to select export here. Then you can see the original file there. But like I said, if you want it to be recognized by every devices, select the second feature and then we start converting. And now you can see it has been converted to JPG. You can also export with encryption. But in order to activate this feature, when you click on it, it will ask you to set the password. So what is good about this? You want these photos to be confidential. Only the person who has the password can view it. Then you can export with encryption. But if it is for your own use, maybe you don't want to turn on this feature. And also, just like an iTunes, if you want to import photos into your iOS device, you scroll down here, you can see a plus sign, click on it and leave it like that, album photo. So now you can add photo into it, but just like an iTunes, the photo that you add through this, you will not be able to delete it. It will be there. So if you want permanent photo that you don't want anyone to delete it, then you can do it as well, just like iTunes. Add a photo here, any photo you have, click open. Then in order for this photo to take effect, to stay in your phone, you need to click on sync. You click on sync, it will start synchronizing. And done. Now you have an album called photo album and then a photo there that you cannot delete directly from your phone. In order to delete this photo, you need to come back here, plug in your device, open this app and delete it from here. So this is photo feature. Let's move back and we move on to the next feature called music. So these are songs or music on my device that I copy into it. These are offline songs and you can see all of them are in MP3 format. If I want to add more music into my iOS device, just click on add music. You can even add folder or just add file and select the music where you store. And so this one here, click open. And now it's right here. Again, in order for this to be transferred into my device, I need to click on sync. Now it's there. So you can also delete any music that you don't want to. Like right now I wanted to delete this music I just added at the moment. You have to click on delete first and then you click on sync. If you want to add more playlists, you can click on plus sign here and type in a new playlist you want to. For example, let's say favorite. And then click on this folder. You can add all the music you want to be added into this playlist. It's just as simple as that. Unlike iTunes, you don't have to worry about losing your previous music. This is really cool. Because sometimes you want to listen to offline music instead of online music like using Apple Music or Spotify. You only want to listen to some music, your own version of music that you want to listen to. Then you just use this method to copy those songs into your music app very quickly. It's really cool. That is music app. Let's move on. Now, the same with movie and videos. If you click on it, of course, 
you can see here it views my videos inside my photos app so you can see all of my videos inside my photos app even the size of each video so i can just copy these videos directly to my computer for example let's say i want to save some space i want to find which video that consume a lot of space for example like this one here it consume 5.3 gigabyte so i just want to export it to my computer and delete it from my iphone so that i can save at least 5.3 gigabytes here so this is a great way to view all your videos and select to export it to your computer and delete any videos that you think you don't want it anymore or you think it consumed too much space this is a great way so if you want to export any videos from your camera roll just select that video for example here you can see the option at the top export delete and say i want to export i can just click that now the videos is in my computer right now it's very fast it's very convenient as well you can also import videos into your device as well for video recorded this is inside camera roll you cannot add any videos into it but if you scroll down to home video this home video or tv show here or movies or music video here these videos are inside an app called apple tv so when you add any video into it you can view these video inside apple tv app so let's say i want to add home video click add video and then choose one video here click open synchronize and it's done and again you can view this directly from your apple tv app after you add all of these videos so this is video transfer feature let's move on to the next feature the next feature is called backup and restore so with this feature you can also back up your iphone or ipad data to your computer you just click on the word backup now here it will start backing up everything in your phone and you also even have the feature called encrypt your backup but again you need to type in the password however if you back up with encryption code you need to also remember the password to be able to use it when you want to restore from backup so you don't really need to back up with encryption the next one is called files so files here of course it will allow you to view the files app in your device whatever's in there you can view it so like now i can view files inside garage band i can also view files inside keynote or numbers or pages i can export it it's really cool if you go back you can also do some more tasks for example for data security you can also encrypt any files you want to encrypt using this app as well if you want any file to be encrypted first before you send to someone then you can just add the files here and encrypt it and then the other person who want to use the file they have to decrypt using the password you provide so that your file will be very confidential the next one is called contact but for contact here you can see in order to select all the contacts to backup to import or export first of all you have to turn off iCloud and follow these procedures here that you can see on the screen so you turn off iCloud but make sure you click on keep on my iPhone here so that the contacts will be still on your phone once you've done that you are able to export all of those contacts from your contacts list you can even add contacts any new contacts into your current contact list using this method it's really cool for podcast of course if you want to add podcasts into your device or if you already have some podcasts on your device you can also export it but because i don't have any podcasts files on my device i cannot export it but i can add podcasts so if i have podcasts on my device i can just add it and then click synchronize it will be in my device books as well ibooks if you have ibook apps like epub or pdf or even audio books you can just add it here and synchronize once you're done synchronizing all of those ebooks will be in your ibooks app that you can view on your iphone or ipad it's really convenient the next feature is voice for voice here as you can see there are two small features in there we have ringtone and voice memos so of course you can add ringtones your personalized ringtones or your customized ringtone into your device let's say you don't like the built-in or the default ringtones provided by apple then you can create your customized ringtones and then transfer it into your device so that you can use it as your personal ringtone like you can see all of these are my personal ringtones and i can even add more but remember the ringtone format has to be m4r if it is mp3 if you click on open then you need to convert it first and fortunately this app also provides extra tool for you to convert by clicking on ringtone maker here 
you can just click in the middle to select the whole part like that or you can also move only one line here so you can move in or out like that but usually the longest would be no more than 40 seconds so you cannot move out you can only move in like so and then you click ok so once you've done that click on synchronize click ok you can see that now it's 20 seconds and you can see now it become your personalized or customized ringtone and the next feature is voice memos so for this one there are two features that it allows you to do if you have some voice memos in your device they allow you to delete them or export them to your computer but they don't allow you to add more voice memo in so this is voice the next one is app for appy let's say you want to view what's inside the app you can click on it and click on documents it will show you what's inside the app and you can even copy those you can even uninstall the app by clicking on uninstall here you can even select all like that to uninstall all apps in one go you can even install app but when you install app it will require you to type in your apple id and password so let's say the app called vlc here as you know that this app is the movie app you click on it click on documents now you can drag and drop so if you want to watch the movie that you downloaded offline you can just download the app called VLC here and then using this app to add those downloaded movies and then you can watch it offline. Let's say I want to add some movies. This one, you can open and it will import. So for this one, you don't have to click on sync to synchronize it. Once you add it, it will be there and it's ready for you to watch. All you need to do is just open this VLC app and you will see the videos in there. So that is app feature next one is sms for this feature in order to back up your messages you need to click ok here to start backing up and then it will shows you your messages after it back up so it would take about six to seven minutes but i'm not going to go into that feature if you want to back up your messages you can just click on this feature here the next one is your calendar so as you can see here you can import calendars or export calendar or add calendar to it or delete calendar next one you can also view your bookmark but again in order to view your bookmarks you have to turn off iCloud again and make sure that you select keep on my device so that the bookmarks that you have bookmarked still stay on your device before you can uh, export it to your computer or import it the last feature is called flash drive so this is one of the cool features of this app as well it allows you to turn your device into a flash drive so you can add any files here if you want to say so you want to add this so it will stay on my device this one is separated from any files even though if it is music but it won't go to music app it stay just like a flash drive so the only way that it can view these files is by plugging my device and come back here to the flash drive to be able to view it and take action like export it delete it and so on so as you can see this app is really cool now if you ask me how much does this app cost let's take a look at it the link to download this app is in the description so you can see here currently it provides the 50% off if you want to purchase it and you can see there are three options that you can purchase for one year license lifetime or family license I would recommend you to go with the lifetime license because the difference between these two is only $10 and right now it's already 50% off so that's it guys this is the mob iPhone manager one of the best iTunes alternative apps for your Mac and Windows computer thank you so much for watching if you like the video please give us a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future have a great day guys see you in the next video